Here it is, guys. This is the Transport that has the McLaren Sabre on it. I'm so excited to show what's inside. Now guys, they actually have more than one car that they're taking delivery of today. I haven't even told you about everything else they're gonna be grabbing. This is only the first of three cars that's on this trailer right now. We got the Porsche GT4 in an incredible spec. Look at these wheels right here. This might be one of the better GT4s that I've ever seen, guys. I got a thing for white cars. You've seen my Ferrari FF, man. This is beautiful. Now we have one more car to go before we get to the McLaren Sabre, guys. I, it's a lot of cars coming today. Car number two, guys. 911 Turbo S. Oh, gonna be careful. Gonna be so careful. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Oh, this freaks me out so much. <laughs> Ooh. Look at this spec 911, guys. That black with all the red on the side. That is amazing looking. So what do you guys think? Would you rather have the black 911 Turbo S or the Porsche GT4 in white? They're so good looking together. Now, no joke guys, this might be one of the most nerve wracking moments of my life. It's not even my car, but they're gonna pull this thing down and we're gonna hopefully, everything goes okay. We're gonna hope. There it is guys, they just started it up. Oh, this is terrifying. Here it comes guys. Oh, we gotta be so careful. Holy cow. My goodness, guys, look at that. Whoa! We can't find it. We're trying to find the door handle right now, guys. There we go. <laughs> We're having a little bit of trouble right now. Apparently that the door release is in a weird spot. There we go. I don't get it. Oh god. Oh boy. Here we go guys. Look at this. One of actually 16 that are being made. What? Look at this. This is insanity, guys. What? All right, it's safely off the truck now, for the most part. We're getting ready. <laughs> oh, gotta be so careful. Gotta be so careful. This is the Do Not Scrape edition right here. Oh, we're gonna be so close. Gonna be good. Gonna be good. Yeah, there we go. Unreal, unreal. You guys, the back of this is the most insane part about it, hands down. Wow. This thing looks like the Batmobile, guys. I can't even describe to you how crazy this is. So I feel kind of bad, guys. I've done you a little bit of a disservice. Uh, I happen to be in one of the most insane super and hypercar garages in maybe anywhere that I've ever seen. It happens to be in Ohio, the Triple F collection, but uh, we have a lot to talk about, and I haven't, I haven't done that yet. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Holy cow, guys. Oh, look at the lights on this thing. Wow. So guys, I might have been a little bit dishonest with you in a couple ways today. So not only did they get the McLaren Sabre, but they also happen to have a Koenigsegg Regera on a truck right next to me. So unassuming guys at the back of the truck here. Holy cow, look at this. What? They're gonna back this thing out in like two seconds.
No big deal, guys. McLaren Sabre and the Koenig Sabre Gera all in the same hour. Oh, wow. That is a spec right there. Pulling the Regera in for the first time. Look at this shot. This is so awesome. Right between the P1 and the Pagani. Thing looks so good. All right, guys, so the Koenigsegg Regera is behind us, but we're actually gonna go take a look at the McLaren Sabre first because there's only, there's only 16 of them. How do we not? Literally one of the most beautiful cars I have ever seen, guys. The pictures and video do not do this justice whatsoever. So one of my favorite features, guys, is they were, I was told by the McLaren rep, these are called pods right here, but it kind of wraps around the car here. It's got exposed carbon here, blue carbon over here, and it's got this Paris blue accent that runs up and down the lines of the car. It is so crazy to look at. It's so difficult for me, guys, to articulate like how extreme this car is compared to any other McLaren I've ever seen, and honestly, maybe even any other car. On the side of the car, guys, it even says number seven here. Seven of the six 16 total that were made. A lot of people were reporting this as 15 made. There's actually 16 total. By far the most extreme section of the Sabre, guys, is the back. Look at this giant fixed wing active aero diffuser on the bottom. There is nothing like this whatsoever. And the details as you sort of start to like dive in here, guys, it's got this like sort of hexagon pattern that runs throughout the back side of the car. I mean, it's just massive back here. Look at the way the lights run down here, guys. This entire like sliver pattern that runs all the way through. That's so wild to look at from behind. That same pattern runs down the front side too. It just makes it look so much more aggressive. Now you might be asking like, how do you open the McLaren Sabre? It's actually pretty easy. You walk up to your insane hyper car, you look right down in here and there's a little button right here. You can pop the door open very carefully. And there you go. So unexpectedly, guys, we're going to follow the Koenigsegg Regera and the McLaren Sabre out, but I'm getting transported in kind of an amazing dream car of mine. We're taking out the P1, guys. We're getting in right now. Whoa, boy. It's P1 time. So this is actually a super special moment. Uh, the McLaren P1 is my dream car, and I've never actually had a chance to be in one while it's been driving before. So we're going to go chase the Regera and the McLaren Sabre right now. So guys, we're actually gonna be chasing the Regera that's in front of us right now, and the McLaren Sabre is gonna be behind us, so maybe the most perfect day ever. So just so you guys have some inclination of the insane procession of Ohio cars that we have right now, in the front we have the Koenigsegg Regera, then a GT4, then the McLaren P1, then the new 911 Turbo S, and a 600 LT, and the McLaren Sabre, just to name, I think, most of them at this point. <laughs> one's got so much power guys oh my god <laughs> so i think brett's gonna give the p1 a little bit he's not gonna go too crazy though he told me he's gonna be really nice and don't go too crazy <laughs> oh god oh god <laughs> chasing the saber and the regera look at this oh they're going they're going! <laughs> Literally chasing the Regera and the Sabre and a GT4 right now. This is absolutely insane. Got the full camera crew. Look at that. Look at that. Sabre and Koenigsegg. Oh, they're going! Oh, <laughs> No joke, guys, this might be one of the coolest moments of my professional automotive YouTube career, whatever you want to call it, following the Regera, following the Sabre. In my dream car, the P1, it doesn't get much better than this, guys. So we were trying to keep up with them, but we actually ran out of gas. We had to stop real quick, and we caused a bit of a commotion at the local Ohio gas station here. The scene here at this local Columbus gas station has gotten a little bit absurd, guys. We got the one of 16 McLaren Sabre up front, followed by the GT4 and the Regera 600 LT. The P1 is getting gassed up right now and we're, we're causing a lot of commotion right now. No joke, look at this guy. Look how insane that looks on the road. And then we got the Koenigsegg with the doors up, man. This is an insane day. So I can't believe I'm saying this, guys. We're actually trading out the P1 to go for a drive in the Sabre right now. Like this may be the best day ever. I can't stop saying it. All right, guys, we're going to be very, very careful here getting inside the Sabre. Oh, it's extraordinarily expensive. Trying to be careful. Oh, 
Okay, I think we're in. We're in. And being very careful not to touch anything. This is a special moment, guys. <laughs> in the saber. Oh, oh, God. Oh, it's got some power, guys. Guys, this thing is so wild. You can see the engine right back there. <laughs> it's absolutely nuts. And we got the Regera right next to us right now. This is absurd. I think he's gonna do a little bit of a pull. Nothing, nothing crazy, right? <laughs> Okay, I'm all right. I'm good. <laughs> on the engine back behind us, look at that presentation. So no joke, guys, this might be one of the loudest McLarens I have ever been in, and maybe ever will be at this point. It's insane inside the cabin here. Okay, so we just got back in the garage, but I can't remember where exactly the door handle is. I think it's on the top. Oh, okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. We're gonna push very gently and we got it okay we, did, we didn't mess it up this is good because it's a three and a half million dollar car oh i've been getting a little like the head cut out here this is not bad oh we're gonna be careful very careful no, kind of say, like, it looks we did like it we did it we didn't mess it up we're gonna very grab the handle and the soft clothes we're good no big deal guys, casual P1, just you know, chilling out by the, the Sabre and the Pagani. So I don't know how this happened guys, but we somehow have the McLaren Sabre key and the McLaren Sabre in front of me right now. I think we need to start it up. Make sure it's unlocked. Good to go. Oh, this is nice. Very carefully sit inside. Oh, trying to be so careful. And then we're gonna start it up. Foot on the brake. Just got the engine start up here. Whoa, my goodness. All right, guys, that's all we're gonna do with the McLaren Sabre for today. Uh, but what an incredible day that this was. Uh, being part of the McLaren Sabre being delivered, actually being able to be in it when it was being driven, uh, basically a dream come true. Everything here is owned by the Triple F Collection, guys. Uh, check out their YouTube, check out their Instagram. You have to follow these guys. Uh, it's a level of hypercar ownership and transparency that I've almost never even seen on YouTube. These guys are absolutely incredible. Oh, and I almost forgot, guys, they have so many other hypercars that we really didn't even get a chance to like look at today like the Koenigsegg Regera, Porsche 918, they have the Pagani Huayra BC over there. Uh, we have much to do tomorrow. I'm spending one extra day here so we can shoot something more insane tomorrow because uh, why not? We're here. One last look at the Sabre before we take off. One of the most beautiful cars I've ever seen guys. You have to see it on the road. Oh, it's beautiful. Someday, someday. This is what we're going to be doing more of in the next episode guys. We got the Koenigsegg Regera right here and the Pagani Huayra BC one of the sickest shots you will ever see. Well, folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Trying my hand of vlogs yet again. Uh, we have a full uh, other day of stuff planned tomorrow. I think I said that right. Uh, so get excited for more hypercar content. I wish I could ask you what we could do with these cars, uh, but I don't think I'll have a chance to before this video goes live. Anyway, have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. We'll catch you later, and I'm out.